Hey guys, welcome back to All Alone Law. This is quick pathology for USMLE. Okay, quick pathology for USMLE. Here we're gonna discuss in these videos, we're gonna discuss about what you call the microscopic appearance and the microscopic appearance. Okay, so because this is really very important for your USMLE step one. Okay guys, so let's start a discussion on this and today's topic of discussion is acute viral hepatitis acute viral hepatitis so you know there are so many viruses that cause viral hepatitis okay A, B, C, D and E right so the most common consequence of all hepatotrophic viruses is acute inflammatory that involves the entire liver okay what's on a microscopic appearance mac not the macbook guys mac microscopic appearance is going to be liver is going to be slightly enlarged it's going to be slightly enlarged enlarged soft greenish okay soft greenish right guys on a microscopic examination microscopic examination okay remember the earliest hepatocellular injury most marked in what you call zone 3 that is a centri lobular zone centri lobular zone okay zone 3 that we call is ballooning degeneration what's that ballooning degeneration What happens in a ballooning degeneration, degeneration, the hepatocytes appear swollen and have what you call a granular cytoplasm, okay? So, they will, let me show you this, this, they have like this, okay? Ballooning, okay? And the second feature of this acute viral hepatitis, the microscopic appearance is the presence of what you call councilman bodies. or acidophil bodies identified by necrotic eosinophilic mass of cytoplasm okay they will have the same shape like this and but they are filled with what you call okay they are known as a councilman bodies hmm? and some areas can show what you call drop out necrosis necrosis drop out necrosis okay in which you see the isolated or small clusters of hepatocytes that undergo a lysis okay and the other features you see on a microscopic examination is what you call mononuclear inflammatory cell infrates in zone 1 that's a portal tract remember there are different zones okay we'll discuss about that in later okay and react to hyperplasia of kuffer cells okay right guys so remember just go through the what you call uh, examination and try to memorize these uh, what you call uh, the microscopic and the microscopic changes okay thank you so much for watching this video take care